How much does it cost every month to live in Dubai? I've been asked this question so many times, both in person and also in the comments to the videos, that it's about time we did the numbers on this one. Let's dive in. For those of you who don't know, I moved to the UAE about three months ago, so think of me as your personal guinea pig. I run an investment platform called Curate Capital, where we offer secure investments into assets like property and fixed income. Be sure to check it out and let me know what you think. So in this video, I'm going to hold your hand through the typical household monthly expenses that you can expect when living in the UAE. For those of you seriously thinking about moving here, this will give you a warts and all picture of what life actually looks like here month to month. The important thing to remember as we begin is that all of your income is tax free. So the starting number for your budget is naturally higher. Spoiler alert, the cost of living in the UAE are also higher than most other places in the world. But depending on the level of your earnings, you might be able to come out on top. Now, the obvious place to start and likely your biggest expense is going to be your rent. Rent prices are at all time highs in Dubai and it's a very competitive market right now. I won't go into depth on all the different things that you need to consider when renting a property in Dubai. We'll just focus on the cost aspect in this video. Depending on the type of property that you go for, you're likely to be paying somewhere in the region of 100 to 200,000 dirhams. This might be slightly less if you're going for a one bed apartment and it might be more if you need a big place in an expensive area. For context, I pay 130,000 dirhams per year for a four bed villa. A villa, by the way, is just what they call a house here. And that is considered to be a very good price. My recommendation here is to figure out your exact cost by going to apps like Dubizel and Property Finder and start searching for the types of properties that you're going to be looking at. You'll only really get a proper feel for your preferred area once you're actually on the ground though. So I'd highly recommend doing that. For the purposes of this video though, let's just assume an average of 130,000 and you can tweak it up or down depending on your own findings. Groceries are obviously another key expense item on everyone's budget. And whilst there are some horror stories out there that I can tell you, like paying six pounds for a box of Cocoa Pops, I would generally say that grocery shopping here is a little bit expensive without being absolutely mental. Ibrahim and I have got a special video coming up where where we're going to compare the UK and a UAE grocery shop. And Soheb and I have also got a video coming up where we're going to compare UAE supermarkets. So we'll explore this more fully with you. But looking at my bank statements, I'm spending about three and a half thousand dirhams a month on my family of five. Now that's probably more than I was spending back in the UK, sure. But then I also have a tax-free income to compensate for that. And when it comes to utilities, everything is run through the central authority. There's a lot of transparency about your usage and about your bill. It's all very slick. It's run through a very good app and you're up and running pretty seamlessly. I've not actually had my first bill through yet, but looking at the consumption numbers on my app and running it through their website for an estimated bill, it looks like my monthly electricity and water bill for the past month should come to around 700 dirham. Now that's actually significantly cheaper than what I was paying back in the UK. And frankly, it's a much better overall experience as well. Now mobile and internet are classed as essentials these days. So it's important that we talk about this one. In the UAE, this stuff is relatively expensive. I've got my mobile and internet all up and running now, finally. So let me talk you through the numbers. For mobile, I paid around a thousand dirham for the year, which is about 85 dirhams a month. Now bear in mind that you get a 50% discount for paying up front for the year. And I opted for a lower package than what I was on in the UK, given the higher costs that are here. I get seven gig of data and 500 minutes for this price. With the internet, I pay 400 129 dirhams a month and in fairness there were no setup costs and the internet is also very, very quick. I get around 400 megabits per second. So mobile and internet here is relatively expensive here. And it makes sense given the relatively small population since communications networks are not cheap to run. Now, so far you might be thinking, this doesn't sound too bad, but I'm about to throw a fairly significant spanner in the works for you, school fees. Now, depending on the school that your kids are in, you can expect to pay around 40 to 60,000 dirhams per year per child. And assuming the lower end of that spectrum and assuming two kids, that's around 7,000 dirhams a month. Now that's not an insignificant sum of money and fees do go higher as your kids progress up through the years. Just like the property stuff, I'd advise figuring out the area that you want to live in, potential schools, 
and the fees that are on there. Thankfully, the fee structures are, again, pretty transparent. You just need to go to the school website and you can figure it out. Now, I'm assuming here that you're not having the cost of schooling covered by your employer. You may well have that covered, in which case you can remove this line from the running cost. So, so far, our budget is running at 22,457 dirhams, and we've still got three items left that I want to quickly talk through. In a land of oil, fuel is, as you would expect, relatively cheap. The fuel prices are set centrally on a monthly basis, so again, there's a lot of transparency and control in the market. At the time of filming, which is April 2023, you'll be paying around three dirhams a litre at the pump. Overall, I personally spend a similar amount on fuel as I did back in the UK, but I do significantly more driving here. So net net, it ends up kind of similar. So I budget around 500 dirhams a month for fuel. And you can estimate this yourself by thinking about how much you would be driving and how efficient your car would be. There are some expenses that will become part of your monthly budget that never you used to be. So for example, buying bottled water is one of them. And another one is a maid. Getting help in the house is super helpful to improve your quality of life. And I found that in a climate like the UAE, it's almost actually essential because the house very quickly becomes dusty and sandy due to the nature of the climate here and due to the nature of the houses all being tiled rather than carpeted. So for this, I would budget around 3000 dirhams a month. Now, it might be less if you live in an apartment block where you perhaps don't need a maid as much since you don't suffer the same kind of dust issues, but 3000 dirham is a sensible estimate for us to run with in this video. Last but certainly not least, there's your entertainment spend. This is one particular variable that will really depend on you, your family and your tastes. The UAE is a place where it's very easy to spend lots of money. And I found that generally families spend much more on entertainment here because there's a lot to do from kids activities to days out to experiences to eating out. The UAE really does have it all. This is great from a lifestyle perspective, but it's also important from a budgeting perspective to just be aware of your spend. This kind of spend is however really important for families, particularly because most people here are without their extended family and it acts as a good way for families to create memories together. Now, I'm not really sure how much to actually put down here as my finances haven't fully settled down into a rhythm. But for now, let's put down 2000 dirhams as again, a sensible estimate. So that brings our monthly grand total to 28,047 dirhams. Now, there are some factors in there that you can tweak up or down depending on your individual circumstances. And I would also factor in other things like budget for flights back home, medical insurance, savings, investment, integrate capital, and so on. Using your home budget is a good basis to start from before factoring in things that are specific to the UAE. For those of you in the UAE, let me know if you think some of my estimates are plain wrong and why. And for those considering a move, let me know if there's anything else that you want further information on and what other content you'd like to see me do. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.